Okay, so I've had this little battery charger here for well, about a year or so. I haven't really had a purpose to use it. And um, I decided to give it a whirl and try it out. Uh, I'm using it to charge a nickel metal halide battery, single cell. It's actually a Duracell uh, 2500 mAh rechargeable battery. And this one seemed to have some issues. I'm um, running a set of these in my keyboard and mouse. And for some reason, my mouse seems to die faster with the batteries that I have in it. It takes about four weeks before my uh, warning light comes on. But it just seemed really low. Uh, the other battery I pulled out, and it had 1.24 volts. Yeah, 1.24 and uh, this battery here when I pulled it out it was only at 0.9 volts so very unhappy uh, I know there is a difference on voltages between uh, non chargeable batteries and rechargeables and I usually see a lot higher voltage on uh, non rechargeable batteries but rechargeable batteries for the most part I've had energizers in a few off name brands but um, I always see them rest around 1.2, 1.3 volts after recharging them, and even the dollar store cheapo batteries, they sit around 1.5, sometimes up to 1.7 volts. Uh, I think 1.71 1 is the highest I've ever seen uh, off of an Energizer. But I got this charger off eBay for I think about 40 bucks, um, V6 AC. Uh, this, this is said to be a knockoff brand of another type of charger, a better charger. But I think this was about 40 bucks, maybe free shipping at the time. And like I said, I'm just using it here to try to try to recharge this guy. It's not even warm yet. The uh, the normal charger I've been using to charge uh, these AA batteries it actually spits out uh, up to five volts, is what it says. Uh, five volts and six amps. Whereas I'm not giving it that much. I'm giving it. You know, it's just overcharging it at 1.6 volts, or it's up to 1.6 on a charge, uh, with 275 uh, milliamp hours of charge into it over three minutes. So this will take about 25 minutes, supposedly, to charge. But uh, I'm limiting the charge up to uh, 2500 mAh, as well as the uh, the delta peak is set at six millivolts per cell. So as it starts dropping uh, from peak charge it will sense that and shut it off shut off automatically but I'll be here monitoring it the entire time that it's on I just wanted to see if I could force charge this um, you know this battery here itself uh, and just see how much charge it takes you know this thing's going through its cycle where it gives it voltage doesn't give it voltage and then it's going to charge it again that's it's a neat little thing um, I'll probably put a few videos up, uh, start charging my remote control car battery packs as well. I've got some 3300 milliamp hour uh, Radio Shack specials, and they're pretty good. I think I have about four of those, as well as two uh, smaller, crappier packs. One might be an 1800, and one might be a 2200 or 2000 mAh, possibly an off-brand. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this little charger. It's got a lot of, a lot of cool functions. Um... It, it did not come with a manual itself, so I've been using the uh, I've been using the manual that I found off the internet. Uh, it's pretty easy to find a manual for it. That tells you how to basically get it going, but once oh look at that. Yeah, this battery is bad. It's saying after 400 milliamp hours, it's full because it sensed the. Uh, the peak voltage so okay if that's what you think let's go ahead and discharge it and then recharge it so the discharge on this is awesome you can actually set the voltage uh, to how low you want it to discharge now it's gonna drop this battery down to about one volt and when it does that it's gonna switch itself automatically to charge after a small wait and during that wait it's gonna show you yeah here's the waiting period so it's gonna wait for about a minute and then it's going to um, 
start charging it, which is a pretty neat feature. So last time it just charged up about 400 milliamp hours, and uh, well, I'll hold out here until it starts charge starts charging this one again. Last time it actually didn't wait a whole minute. It just uh, it started charging maybe about 50 seconds on the timer. But you can see right there this battery is bad. It just pulled out 6 milliamp hours to get down to 1 volt. And, uh, you know, that, that says it's, like, discharged or whatever. So hopefully now it's going to switch over to charge mode. Ugh. Reposition here. I'm a little uncomfortable. Leaning. Oh, there it is. Okay, now it's charging it. But on this automatic charge, you see it's only giving it 2 amps. Or on the charge-discharge cycle. So, I'm actually going to let that go. It's probably going to take about twice as long, which was, what, 5 minutes, 10 minutes? So I'm going to let this go for 5 or 10 minutes. And when it says it's done, it beeps at me again, then uh, I will continue another video and we'll see if this battery can be revived or not.